Hello folks, dude here with Dudes Do It Yourself. I'm suited up today so you know we're in for a big project. Um, this is uh, my 2011 Mercedes-Benz GL350 um, Blue Tech. It's a diesel, turbo diesel, V6, three liter. Um, I love this car. I bought it used uh, a few years back with about 78,000 miles. It's got about 107 miles on it right now it's roomy it's got a third row seat i love the way it looks i love the way it drives uh, for being as heavy a rig as it is it gets pretty decent gas mileage or diesel mileage i should say but we got a problem um and i'm kind of disappointed mercedes if you're listening i'm kind of disappointed that this car has this problem and it's a known problem the transfer case is not working properly so I'll show you what that is and I'll explain what that is in a bit. It's hot. It's a hot day. Uh, and But let me see if I can actually demonstrate what the problem is and what we need to fix today. So I'm going to back out of here, back out of the drive, get it on the street. And in essence, what it is is that when the car is under load, you'll you'll hear something that sounds like when i first heard it i thought it was a bad cv joint because this is an all-wheel drive vehicle i thought it was a bad cv joint it sounded like something was like grinding skipping um and then i talked to my mechanic about it and he's like oh did it sound did it sound like a chain skipping over a sprocket i said that's exactly what it sounds like and he said it's a known problem it's a, it's in the transfer case um and you're gonna have to buy a used one you know to get a new one for mercedes is going to be crazy expensive um but you know i did some research i didn't want to buy a used one why would i buy a used one if it's a known problem and i end up with the same problem um i ended up getting a rebuild rebuild kit for uh this mercedes you know transfer case so that's what we're going to try to do and it's a big project um Sometimes I get halfway into these projects and I wonder, oh, I'm not wearing my seatbelt. I wonder why the heck, you know, I even opened up that can of worms. But I usually end up learning a lot and enjoying the project. So let's see if I can demonstrate what happens. We're cruising along 10 miles an hour. If I step on it, whoa, first of all, the camera goes bye bye. <laughs> but. No, this thing's off. Um, but um, I, I wonder if you could hear that. Uh, it's skipping uh, on the sprocket. So I don't know if it's the chain. I don't know if it's the sprocket. Um, I don't know if it's both. But the rebuilt includes the rebuild kit includes everything. I'll show that to you in a sec. So this is the um, rebuild kit for the transfer case. I really haven't. I just popped open the box, but other than that, I haven't taken anything out. It's got a number of bearings, some sort of sleeve with splines. Oh, these are actually roller bearings. That's another bearing. Um, this sort of cap. Honestly, I'm not sure where all of this stuff goes. My plan is to, um, you know, get the transfer case out of there, open it up. Start looking at where everything goes and put everything back new. This is one of the sprockets. Okay, so we've got that. I'm going to move this over here. Got this sprocket here. Got this big bad boy over here. Yeah. I can chop it open. There we go. This other sprocket here. And then, these, this is really the guts of the system, is this chain, this chain and these sprockets. So, this chain goes around these sprockets. Something like that. Let's see if I can set this up and then talk about it. Okay, let's see if that looks good. Right. So basically, the, the engine sits up here, then you got the transmission, directly behind the transmission is the transfer case 
the shaft comes out of the transmission into and through and driving one of these gears out the back end and you've got the drive shaft to the rear wheels here the transfer case then basically offsets the power so you can get around the transmission and the engine and you have the front drive shaft attached to this gear going out to the front differential okay so this is skipping and that's what we heard in the car and i don't know if it's because this chain stretched or the gears the the teeth on the gears were worn or both but this is um this is pretty heavy duty um and i'm very surprised honestly that mercedes would have this kind of problem this, this is a pretty basic mechanical setup there are jeeps out there that have been uh, running around since 19 the 1940s with a transfer case probably similar to this that have had no problems whatsoever so i'm kind of surprised that mercedes would have that kind of issue but this is what we're going to try to put into and rebuild the transfer case in the gl all right guys we got the gl up on ramps that's a, probably about as high as i can get it with the equipment i have at home let's hope it's going to be enough um ac is really loud there but i chalk the rear wheel i got those at uh, harbor harbor freight too um let's see okay so let's take a look we've got fair amount of clearance for me to get under there with a creeper let's see if it's enough okay folks let's see if you can actually get a visual of that so that's the uh, front drive shaft coming out of the transfer case this is the transmission right here I'm gonna have to remove the support to drop everything down I have to get the uh, rear drive shaft off and then this case itself is screwed onto the back of the transmission so I'm gonna have to get that off so I can uh, open it up and rebuild it that's uh, that's a much better view of the transfer case that whole case has to come out so I can replace you can almost see where the gears are you know inside the case and imagine the chain spinning around in there today's the day um it's actually drizzling a little bit so i hope it doesn't pick up any more than it is right now i think i can work through this my plan is to it's about 11 o'clock on a saturday morning i'm hoping that i can get this done today if not today i'll be happy if i can get it finished tomorrow if i don't get it finished over the weekend then um that's going to be a problem but i feel pretty confident i can get it done one thing I didn't mention earlier is that um, this is a 2011 Mercedes-Benz GL350 Bluetech. Uh, the chassis uh, for these cars is X164. So that's the Mercedes designation for the chassis. That's what you want to use um, to look up parts um, that cut across the diesels and the gasoline for the most part. Okay, obviously the engine and the transmission is different between diesel and the um the 350 and the 450 um but everything else tail lights grill um the tran the the transfer case uh um rebuild kit that that we're going to uh, work on today all of that you should be able to find correct for your car if it's this year if you look for chassis 160 w 164. mercedes is very fond of using these uh star nuts and bolts on different assemblies so i picked up these female star sockets you know the other day but it turns out that you know i needed some male um star uh star bit sockets in particular to take the drive shafts off so i had to run out to northern tool and pick this up you know one of the things that we deal with is do-it-yourselfers you know interrupt the uh project because we need to go get a tool or part So um, I've got all the bolts off of the transfer case. I was able to get the drive shaft 
out of this cup and kind of put it on top that's because I'm pretty sure this um, transfer case has to move backward off of the transmission to come off now I did do may have a mistake here so I'll point it out so you guys don't have that so these bolts hang on, let me see. position myself so I can point I took these off but that's actually holding the two halves of the case together and what I needed to do was remove the bolts that go all the way around attaching it to the uh, to the uh, transmission that was not easy guys especially there's two up on top that's basically under the tunnel there that were very difficult to get out um, but I got it done so now I'm hoping that I can pry this off put it on the bench and we can get to work rebuilding well dudes Wow I battled the beast man that was not easy <laughs> That was not easy. And then of course, I mean, now it stopped, but it was raining like a cow pissing on a flat rock. Excuse my Catalan. Anyway, um, I got the big beastie out here. Let's take a closer look and then uh, we're gonna hit the rebuild. So I'm gonna take um, this ring off, this clip ring, cause that is preventing me from, oops. And I don't really have the right tool. I've got like a, sharp nose plier that uh somebody adapted i think it was actually my father-in-law who's a great do-it-yourselfer by the way so i went out to uh, home depot got this uh kind of weird looking long nose pliers but they're kind of cool man um they're designed so that the jaws actually open up greater than this um for tight spots i guess but I'm figuring that the long nose uh, is going to help me get a good angle on this C-clip. So, let me see if I can pop this bad boy out. Stick that in there. Over there. Try not to pinch my hand while I'm doing this. Oop. Almost had it. Come on, baby. Ah. Mm. Well, sir, three hours later, oh, I almost had it. Come on. Ah. Well, after a fair amount of swearing and battling, I got this thing out. This thing is heavy duty. I mean, I guess it should be. It's got to be to hold this um, axle and seal and everything in place. But I got it out. Guys, uh, here's the... I was able to pop the... Uh, case open and looks like it's just sealed with a, a sealant because I didn't get a gasket with the new kit so I'm just going to use um, you know a good permatex or something good like that um, when I put it back together so this is interesting um, this is about where these sit and look how look how loose that chain is so I don't know if it's um, if it's stretched that much um, or what, but that seems like that's the problem, right? It was skipping. If you look at the teeth on this, let me see if I can get this off. Mm. So the teeth don't look bad at all. They 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 look pretty good. Um, I don't see any significant wear on them um, that looks okay I'm kind of put this back the way it was just so I can keep organized and then this one is the one that drives the uh, the front drive shaft and it also doesn't look like it's too worn I mean I'm going to try to compare these two. So, here's the uh, here's the old, the used one, and here's the new one that came with the rebuild kit. 
I mean, those teeth look fine. I don't see any significant wear on the old gear. So it must be that the chain somehow stretched. So this is the chain and it fits kind of loose in there. Let me get the other chain and see if we can notice any kind of difference. So this is the new chain and let's see if this uh, looks any different. Let's put it all together so we can kind of look at the slack that was there. I think this goes like this. Okay, so I mean, there's, there's quite a bit of slack in that. Yeah, this is moving around a little bit, but that's kind of where it sits and it just seems like it's way too loose. Now let's try setting the new chain in there. We'll see how that looks. It's the new chain, wrap it around there, wrap it around here. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm having trouble getting this other gear to line up. Oops, this wasn't on this one right. Okay, there we go. So, it looks like it still has some slack, but it seems like it's less slack than the other chain. So, I think that was the problem. Uh, I probably could have gotten away with just getting a new chain, but again, I found this kit that had everything. So I figured I'd just go ahead and, and replace everything so that's uh, that's what I'm gonna do I wanted to show you guys another way to look at the chains so the new chain is here on the left old chain on the right this isn't very scientific but I'm holding it even there and look at the bottom look how much longer that chain is the old one and that's just enough I mean it doesn't look like much but that's enough to where it's when it's under load it'll skip over that gear so that's the culprit i want you guys to take a look so um these are the new gears um from the kit and the new chain look, look, look at that look how much tighter that is remember all that slack that was in this old chain that's gone that fits really nice really really nice um so this is ready to be put back together. I'm gonna to get some sealant, put it all around, put it back together, and then um, hopefully I can get it back in the GL today before I run out of daylight, all right? The instructions are to use um, automatic transmission fluid, actually, in the transfer case. I was a little bit surprised by that. I thought it was gonna be some sort of heavy duty gear oil. But no, it's, it's transmission fluid. I'm a big fan of Mobile One. Love this product. I use it almost exclusively when I change the oil and in my cars. Um, I've been using it for years. I'm also a big fan of Yingling beer. <laughs> anyway, this takes about um, half a liter in here. So I've got a, um, oh, that's too big. A couple different size funnels over here. And I'm going to put in about half a quart of this stuff. Seems like it's not enough, but I'll follow directions. Somebody, some engineer that designed this thing obviously knows more than I do. It's easier to do uh, fill it up here while it's on the bench than when it's up inside, um, you know, in the drivetrain. Okay, that'll do right there. And um, this has a uh, filler cap here and a drain plug here. Tighten that up. 
So I didn't get the transfer case in and rebuilt, I'm sorry, out, rebuilt, and back in the car in one day. That didn't happen. Um, so I'm going to call it a day now. Enjoy the rest of my beer. Clean this up to first thing tomorrow. Put it back in the car. And we should have a test drive to see um, if that fixed the problem. All right, boys and girls. So, our project is done. Um, I'm test driving right now, and it's smooth, no noises. Um, everything's behaving the way it should. I actually took it for a test drive without the camera and accelerated hard, which is when we would have the problem before of the chain skipping on the sprocket. So you saw how stretched that chain was. I don't know if it was a bad batch. Um, a rebuilt, uh, I'm sorry, a used transfer case was probably around me about 600 bucks, six to 700, and that was used. Um, it was probably gonna cost me about 600 bucks in labor to take it to the shop and have it done. Um, this way I did it myself and I end up with at least new gears, new chain, and I'm hoping I never have to take that thing out again. Um, I'll probably, check the transmission fluid in a week or so just make sure that it's topped off and that it looks clean I'll probably actually drain it um, and uh, put in new fluid and hopefully that's it I think this thing's done and uh, I'm back to uh, driving it and enjoying it and uh, if you have the same issue with your GL don't be afraid of it just uh, do some research and go for it all right thanks for watching guys